When I'm arranging a piece, the story, again, is at the core, center of everything that I do. If I'm trying to create a moment of suspense, I will choose instruments very, very carefully and very intentionally. The same if I'm trying to create a celebratory sound, what instruments would I choose in that situation? It all changes. When it's not one of these extremes of ultimate sadness or suspense or crazy celebration like a carnival, what do you do for the middle? I find that putting the vocal, if there is a vocal element in the song, or the lead melody in the center of your arrangement or your score is really important and then try to find the spaces where you want to fill or you want to supplement or you want to stay away so that all the light, all the focus goes to that one central element. This is just a decision about form and structure. After that, figuring out which elements can come in and when they should leave is really, really important. I find a lot of arrangers or producers feeling like once they introduce an instrument, it has to stay there forever. And I couldn't disagree more. There are some incredible arrangements from all sorts of genres where one element only comes in right at the end of the song. And it's so perfect just in that space. So really trying to understand what role each instrument plays, what they supplement, whether they play the role of groove, harmony, or ambience really helps. Remember that groove is not only percussion or bass or bass and drums together. Groove could be actually indicated by an instrument that is comping. Groove could be indicated by body percussion. Groove could be indicated by your vocalists. So understanding in every part of the song who's leading in the groove, who is leading in harmony, and who is leading in support is really important. And a fun way to kind of mix things up a little bit. I also think it's really important to mention those artistic choices or decisions to your players when they're in the studio so they can personify that role in how they perform.